Hey Taurus, it's Tanisha from Tanisha's Tarot. I'm here to do a mini reading for you for the month of February 2020. Um, I'm going to do this reading with three little cards. Well, there's one. And then do some clarification just to get a little preview into what's to come for you in February. So here we go. One, two, and three. Okay, so Queen of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Uh huh. All right. So straight up, you have a couple pair in your reading. They're Taurus. So this is the King of Cups, and he's all about heart space. He's very measured and centered, and emotionally balanced, um, caring and protective, and very kind. Um, so this energy, uh, and also very much a water energy. So this can signify a person who's coming into your world, or this can signify um, a space that you've stepped into within yourself. So for the fact that we now also have the Queen of Cups, this is like a pigeon pair. So I would definitely take this as a potential signifier of a romance blossoming, a strengthening of an existing relationship, or a union, a soul union of some kind or other. Um, because, yeah, the Queen of Cups is emotionally balanced, nurturing, and compassionate. So these two are sweethearts, and you have them showing up side by side, looking at each other, and... Yeah, this is definitely, um, and in the month of February, how gorgeous. You, you, this is very likely to signify some sort of romance or a beautiful union or, you know, an interaction where there is a, a large amount of love and compatibility. So with the Wheel of Fortune also coming up in this reading, the Wheel of Fortune is about fortunes in your favour. So I couldn't have designed a better little mini romance reading because this is saying that you know you meet someone someone's meeting you you guys click and the fortune you know the gods are smiling on you fortunes are in your favor um this is very positive stuff you know this is shifts of life changes in fortune but in a very very positive way so from if it's an existing relationship it's talking about you guys reaching a new level but i mean i'm reading this as a fresh relationship where you meet someone and you just come together and it just clicks and it changes your fortunes um, in a very positive way. All right, so let's see what the clarification is for this one. So the King of Cups, the clarification for the King of Cups is the Six of Wands. Um, the Six of Wands is about triumph, is about getting, uh, coming out of... Um, a space that may have felt like a battle or, uh, you know, um, like it might have felt problematic, but you've come out of it and there is balance now, there is forward movement and there is a feeling of victory. So this king comes in and is victorious. He's coming in with an energy of victory. So the union that I'm seeing here, it's it comes with an element of victory of like, yes, I found you. This feels so good. This feels so balanced. This feels so right. Um, Queen of Cups clarification. There we go. So we have the Hermit. Okay. So the Hermit card is about uh, inner knowing and um, inner guidance and self-reflection and it can signify a certain level of solitude. So as a um, clarification card for the Queen of Cups, we may take this that the King very much comes in with a masculine energy of triumph and coming in to, you know, woo the queen but the queen may have a slight level of reluctance and she may be having to um, 
you know, sort of turn inwards a little to trust her own inner guidance, but it can also be um, a signifier of her inner guidance is leading her towards this king. Um, her inner guidance also feels that this king is um, is good for her, you know. So, so somebody will be coming at it from an active, you know, uh, a proactive space and another, the other half of this equation will be receiving this and be having sort of quiet counsel with themselves as they, you know, quietly smirk to themselves and feel quite chuffed about the whole situation. So both elements are quite positive. Um, the Wheel of Fortune clarification card. Clarify. Oh, we've got five cards. Come on, Tarot. Don't be so complicated. Just one. Alright. Oh, look at it. It jumped straight on there. Alright, so the clarifier for the Wheel of Fortune is the Justice card. So the Justice um, talks about a balancing of karma, um, law and truth, and can signify apologies. Um, as a signifier for the Wheel of Fortune, I would definitely take this as... Um, a shift in fortune towards a balancing of karma so this is telling me that this is like a karmic union so these two um, were preordained to meet so you and whoever it is that you're meeting whoever it is that you're pursuing or who is pursuing you um, this was all written in the stars so yeah, and this is probably why there's a feeling of triumph. There's a feeling of inner guidance, both leading you towards each other. So congratulations. I think that this is such a beautiful little love story for the month of February for you guys, Taurus. So happy February. Thank you for subscribing, watching, liking, and sharing my videos. And um, I'll talk to you next month. Bye.